So hi everyone, this one has been a long time coming. I think since I've started my YouTube channel, I haven't actually bleached my hair. So I've been meaning to do this for a while and it was my birthday yesterday and I'm having a little dinner party tomorrow. So I thought it is time to spruce it up. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm wearing my cloak. And yeah, we're gonna get to it. Um, I'm gonna show you the products that I use. Um, and just go through the little transformation. Yes, this is what I look like. So, anyway, I use the Blonde Me Short Scarf, I think that's how you pronounce it, stuff. Uh, it's really good, it's professional stuff, um, and I get it from, I think you can get it from Sally's Beauty, you can get it from those websites, I'll leave some links down below. Anyway, so, we've got the Bond Enforcing Premium Lightener Dust Free Powder, and it is an icy blue, just to keep the tones cool. Um, and then we've got a 9% 30 volume developer. Um, and it says, mix this at a, so it says one, one to 1.5 to one to 2.5. Well, obviously when you've got it one to one and a half, the consistency is a lot thicker. It's got a lot more bleach in it. Um, and then the other end of the scale is a lot more kind of wet. Um, I don't really know which is best for my hair, I kind of just do it kind of one to two. Um, but it's not like I've got lots of hair to go through, so I'm gonna use a one to 1.5 ratio so I can get that bleach thick in my hair. I cut my hair the other day. Awful. Like what is that? Well, it was my birthday last night, so I do look a little bit tired, even all that. I don't like a bird, an angel. It comes with this handy scoop, so I think that line in the middle that you can kind of see, I think that's half. Like logically it would be, it doesn't really look like it, but anyway. So I know that I've put one scoop in. Mm. I'll do a bit more just because it needs to be on really thick for it to be as white as I want it to be. So then we've got one there and another half in there. And you're gonna mix it good. like that and once you've done it you want to get it on pretty quickly because obviously it will stop processing and when I had longer hair it was so much harder to get it on quickly it would take me like up to an hour sometimes to get it on like on my roots etc all my roots and my sides and some of it would develop so much quicker than the other and then half of it would be nice and white half of it would be yellow so it's a lot easier now it's short so I'm going to slap this on I've got this brush is like a toothing comb or whatever comb it is um, and that's good to part your hair. Obviously my hair doesn't really need parting but if I just slapped it on underneath, you know, you need to get it on all the hairs so I do, you know, once it's wet, try and separate it. So I've just started getting it on. Um, so I'll go like this, you know, and then pull it over and make sure it's all in. Applying the bleach now. Um, it is on, honey. Yeah, this mirror is dirty. Uh, hmm. Yeah, there we go. So I use this mirror to really get back of my head, um, make sure it's all 
over. I probably took a bit too much time doing it, but I like to make sure it's literally coated in it. If everything is not coated in bleach, it's not going to develop properly. So where you get orange hair, that is probably one of the reasons. Put this much bleach on for even this short amount of hair, um, you need a lot of bleach and you need to leave it on for long enough. I'm going to leave this on for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, um, just to make sure it's done all its processing um, and we'll see where we are in an hour. We're doing a bit of interior yeah. business. Yeah. Putting foil over it can produce more heat and make it develop faster, so that is what I'm doing. And I put some cling film to hold it on. Just be careful when you're putting it on, they're not scraping any bleach away. Okay, so it is done developing. You can see it's got all foamy. Um, I think from just looking at it, it doesn't look like it in the camera, but it's gonna be slight. The yellow underneath, it probably won't look it to anyone else, but I want it white. We shall see, I'm gonna rinse it off. I might bleach it again if I want it super, 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 super white, just because I know my hair can take it. Not everyone else's hair can take that. I do have very thick hair, so mine can, and then I'm gonna torn it. My head is raw, but I don't like SpongeBob SquarePants. I would definitely be able to neutralize it with toner, but I do want it really white, white, white. So I'm gonna go over with a bit more bleach, just kind of on the ends. I'm not gonna go to the root because I am raw. So, round two, I'm just doing that, just brushing it on the ends. I mean, it's on most of it, but instead of like lathering it on, I'm kind of just, you know, getting it on the ends. Okay, so I've just rinsed off the second bleach and it is a lot better colour. It's slightly more white here just because it's shorter and that's where it um, develops faster. But it looks like a good colour to tone over now. I probably could have left it on a little bit longer. I left it on for about 35 minutes the second time, but that looks good to me. Now we just need to tone. Okay, so for toner, you use a 2 or 3% developer this is a two percent and it's the blonde me short scoff one again and then for toning um i usually use 951 which is a pearl color which is really nice but i've got ice at the moment which i'm going to add a bit of um and then nine zero which is extra light blonde so it's like a neutral blonde primarily use nine zero my add a bit of silver white i just like to mix them so it's just not I don't know, just get a bit of a different colour going on. This one is silver white, silver. This one's ice, so I'm gonna mix them together and these are all at a one-to-one -one ratio with this. So for nine zero, put in about that much. I'm gonna add some ice now. So just add a little bit. So I've mixed a bit of all three there and then it's one to one. So about, you know, double what's currently in it. I think that is enough, mm, yeah. Mixing that together. Okay, so I've mixed all that to that consistency and I'm gonna get it on my head real quick. I'm gonna leave this on for like literally a few minutes. It's already been on for a few, so I'm literally gonna go run up and wash it off now. You wanna leave it on for like five minutes max, depending how strong you want the toning occurring. So here we go, this is the final look. I washed my hair with Olaplex shampoo and then conditioner and then put some Olaplex oil in it just to make sure the condition is good. And I'm really happy with this color. I've mixed the silver white, the nine zero and the blonde me eyes toner and it has made such a nice color. That's why I like mixing them sometimes. It just makes a bit more of an interesting color. Um, if I'd just done ice or silver white, it would have been too silvery, but in real life, it does just have a hint of warmth. Like it's not completely icy. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Definitely got to bleach it the second time. And this is gonna look so good for my little dinner party I'm having tomorrow. So this is the before.
So here's my hair after a few days. It has grown out a little bit, uh, but it looks really good. I'm happy with the colour. I'm going to link the toners I use down below. As it's so close to the root, I can get it really light and my hair can take the two bleaches at once. If your hair is quite thin or weak, I wouldn't say do it twice. You usually can if you're using good products, but only use a 30 volume, don't use 40 volume. And I wouldn't use 20 volume either because it's just a little bit too weak. My tips are you need good products. You need to have enough bleach and that it needs to be smothered in it because if all the hairs aren't covered properly, it's not going to process properly. And, you know, use a mirror behind you, make sure you're getting it all in and that's easy for me to say with my super short hair but just maybe get some help if you know you can't get back there but use good quality bleach good quality toner and it will look good you know you're not a professional but if you're using professional products it's going to look better than using some crap from the drugstore and brassy orange hair isn't a cute look and you know when you finish getting the bleach in there leave it on for about 45 minutes to an hour or it does say 25 to 45 minutes but I always think you can go a little bit longer but obviously just you know what your hair is like um and when you've got the bleach on it because it's like a white pur purpley color bleach it looks like your hair's nice and white but actually when you wash it off it's pretty yellow so just keep it on for as long as you can not as long as you can but around 45 minutes to an hour and then wash it off and if you need to do another bleach do it. If you're doing a scalp bleach, obviously that is really strong stuff on your scalp. So don't wash your hair for a few days. That lets the oil build up and it doesn't hurt a whole lot. Thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful or you got some good tips from it, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's any other hair related videos you would like, please let me know. And I will see you in the next one.